Hey guys, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger on Poshmark and on Instagram. And today I want to talk about something that I get asked every single day on Instagram, and that's how I decide what to list on Poshmark and what to list on eBay. So let's get into it. So let's talk about Poshmark first. I think it's important on Poshmark to have kind of a curated closet. You want to have a theme or a vibe going on, and this is similar if you think about going to the mall and going to certain stores. You know what style to expect. I want the same thing um, for my buyers when they come into my closet on Poshmark to have that kind of experience of knowing what kind of items to find um, at Empty Hanger. So I define my customer in order to know what to stock and I like to think of my customer as my girl. And my girl is very bohemian, casual, cool girl. Um, she has a little bit of an edge and a free spirit so that is who I think of when I am out there sourcing for items whether it be specific brands like Anthropology, Free People, maybe Lucky Brand, but also I'm looking for unique items, um, for instance, graphic tees, sequin pieces, cut off shorts, just anything that fits that look that I can see my girl out there wearing. So it helps me by having that focus in order to know what to list and what to source. Now, over on eBay, that's a little bit of a different story. So I started out selling on eBay, mainly because men's items at the time weren't allowed on Poshmark, so I was listing men's stuff over on eBay that I was finding. And also, I was finding all these mature brands that I knew were worth money, but they didn't fit with like the vibe of my closet. So I was finding St. John, Eileen Fisher, Miss Sook, um, just, you know, kind of classic styles that just weren't bohemian casual cool you know so I was listing all that stuff over on eBay and that's kind of how I was making my decisions you know does it fit my customer on posh or is it basically anything else and I also tend to cross post sometimes cross list some merchandise um, stuff that I might have on Poshmark that I know is worth a lot of money I will also list it over on eBay just to increase exposure um, eBay obviously has been around a lot longer than Poshmark and you know they're also international so I can sell those items around the world which Poshmark currently is only within the US so that's kind of how I decide what goes on Poshmark what goes on eBay a little bit on both but overall keeping them um, somewhat separate and that has helped me when I'm out there not only sourcing but also deciding what to list if this video has helped you decide what to list on which platform um, or giving you some inspiration please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye guys.